Hey everyone, my name is Adam. I'm going to show you how to put together one of these bookshelves. This is a Galax bookshelf from Ikea. It's about $34. And everything's in one box. You just grab one. So in the box you're going to have a top, a bottom. Now these pieces are identical. And two sides. And these pieces are also identical. And you're going to have the two um, shelves and the separator and the last thing you'll have is the bag of hardware so the back of the shelf will have the back sides will have these two holes these two are for mounting the brackets if you're going to put it on the wall otherwise they're not used so these pieces are going to go up like that so you might want to lay those down so that these side pieces the holes are facing each other you know towards the inside and uh, then you just have your bottom like that. So the first thing we're going to do is mount these two pieces together. In this bag of hardware, you're going to find a wrench. Looks like that. And you're going to need to take out a couple of these bolts. You can see this is the top, the top and the bottom both will have these screw holes on every corner. Just line the corners up, put in one of the bolts. Real easy. And I can do it for this side, this corner. There you go. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in this top divider right here. And you take one of these uh, short square pieces, doesn't matter which one, they're both exactly the same. And you're going to take a wooden dowel and insert it in these holes on the outside hole. Nothing happens on the inside hole. And just slip it in like that. Alright, the next part I'm going to put together is this piece here and that's this long one now on the end of here you're going to put in four dowels two on each side again it doesn't matter which side because it's uh, all symmetrical then you're going to slide them into this edge here Then we're going to put some dowels inside the outside slots here, not the inside ones. And you might notice that we're not using any glue for any of this. You don't need it. Then this last square slips into these pegs that are sticking out. Just like that. Now you're going to use the last of the wooden pegs. I'm going to put all four of them on the side of this slot there and a couple in the edge of this piece. Alright then you take the side now remember these holes need to be just like the ones down here you know at the bottom so this is, would be the back of the shelf. I'm going to line up these holes with these four pegs and slip it on. Now I can put the bolts in the top. Now we're ready for the last piece again, just these two pegs are going to go in this slot on the bottom. A little tricky to line up. And then you have four more bolts, one on each corner.
Alright, that's how to do it. It's pretty easy. Now mounting it on a wall is a different story. The instructions are painfully vague on how to do it, especially how to do it securely. Okay, the problem with the instructions, let me skip to the back, they'll show you how to do it. Um, if you're hanging it on a wall, you're going to use these brackets and you really need to um, mount them into a, a stud. And if you don't know, there's beams running up vertically behind the wall and they're 16 inches apart and they're only one and a half inches thick and when you mount this you're going to need to do it into the studs if you put bolts in and they're just hanging on the drywall you put anything on this shelf it's going to rip right out now here's the problem here I lined up this bolt let me take off the cover and see how it works here I lined up this um, screw with a stud. There's a stud going right um, behind underneath here so you put in the screw in the bracket on the side and these holes that are you know remember these holes that are provided that's where the bracket goes and then uh, you just put your bolt in and that clips on but the problem is you know I said they're only 16 inches apart there's 16 inches behind here if I was to put a bracket on there there's only drywall on here and that's, if you don't know, drywall is just uh, made out of uh, material like chalk and it breaks really easy. So as soon as you put weight on it, this thing will rip down. So I used a drill bit and drilled a couple other holes up underneath here so I could put the bracket into another stud. So with this bookshelf that I'm going to put on the wall here, I've already put some tape to mark where the studs go. If you don't know how to find uh, the studs, I got a video on that. You can just use your knuckle and, and your ear, or you can get a stud sensor. These things are pretty cool. You just put it on, push the button. When it beeps once, it tells you it's ready. You slide it along, and it lets you know when there's a stud behind the wall. Another thing about studs is you're going to find that there's always one near an outlet, almost always. And so, can hear the pitch change so I know there's a beam running up this side so chances are if your home's built right you're gonna have another one 16 inches this way and 16 inches that way okay so I'm gonna put this shelf right up on here on this uh, molding at the bottom but before I do right here on this back edge I'm gonna take some of this uh, um, foam felt sticker that they give and then put it right here on the bottom edge so that it's not plastic hello Colette so that it's not the you know plastic bottom of the shelf writing right along this edge that it's got a little bit of a buffer to help it not creak so And I can take this shelf and lift it up on the ledge, like that. <sighs> okay, so here's where I need to put the bracket. There should be a beam behind this wall, so I'm going to take a pencil, make a little circle in there. I can pull the bookshelf away from the wall. Okay, there we go. I was a little off on that hole, but that one made it. Okay, with that screw in the wall, now I can put the bookshelf back up. And now inside I know exactly where this bracket needs to be centered. So I can draw these two top holes. Now with a 3 8 inch bit, 
I can drill out these holes. Just be careful not to go through. Okay, with the bracket now on, you put the shelf back on the wall, and these slip around the screw like that. And then you can tighten it. And they give you these little plastic covers that just clip on. And that's it. Okay, so this bracket is installed into a stud now. I just have to do the same thing again here and do another stud and I'm done. Now, Ikea will uh, sell in their little returns department. You can buy some extra hardware. So I can buy another bracket for in there and in there if I want to. And I could get a, um, a drywall um, mount that you insert and it flares out inside the drywall. At Home Depot they sell these in Lowe's, not Ikea. And that way I could actually put some more brackets on, although it doesn't hold as strong. You still always want to make sure you're attaching this into a stud. Anyway, I hope that's helped you. If so, please click like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.